When an emergency happens at your school, it will be a fast evolving event, highly stressful situation. That's why preparing for a crisis beforehand is an absolute must. If criminal activity or violence is happening outside your school, administrators may call for a lockout, meaning all doors are locked, stopping the potential danger outside from coming in. It also means that no one who is inside can go out. Lockouts are typically called as a precaution when a crime has happened in the vicinity of a school but does not necessarily involve the school itself, like a car chase or a bank robbery. Depending on the circumstances, classes can continue and students can walk the halls, but again, no one can come or go. When a lockout is announced, it should be done clearly without using confusing codes. Any student or staff who is outside should immediately come in, and all doors and windows leading outdoors should be locked. Teachers should take attendance and tell the office of any extra or missing students. If your school is large, have zones pre-assigned to certain staff members who will be responsible for double-checking all access points, doors, windows, and other areas that should be secure. Pre-planning, training, and practice are critically important. When you plan, develop lockout strategies for all parts of the school day, like before or after school, lunch or recess class changes, gym time, and during extracurricular activities, athletic events, plays, or concerts. Depending on your school, you may face some challenges during a lockout. If you have standalone or modular buildings on your campus, students may need to evacuate to the main building. Again, classes can typically continue during a lockout, but all circumstances are unique. It'll depend on what caused the lockout, the vicinity of the incident to the school, and where classrooms are in relation to the activity outside. Pre-planning is important to identify classrooms that may need to move due to a lockout situation. 